beautiful and colorful these creatures are they cannot see their own colors but we know how beautiful they are butterflies have always been an attraction for everyone and everyone has played with them or tried to catch them there are thousands or maybe millions of species of colorful butterflies and in today's video we are going to talk about one of these species the common mormon butterfly so let's start now let us see the process of metamorphosis in a common mormon a common mormon butterfly starts its life in an egg the eggs are mainly globular and pale yellow but don't make the mistake to confuse it with the eggs of common line butterflies because they look quite similar but there are some features to distinguish them a common line butterfly lays eggs on the axial part of a leaf stems or thorns of a plant whereas common mormon does not after hatching from the egg the common mormon looks nothing like the adult butterfly it has a brownish type colored body and white stripes on its ends and sides which serves as a good camouflage and makes it look like a bird dropping it also has two small spiky projections on one of its ends also i want to tell you a fact a common mormon larva has two sphenodes after a couple of days it looks quite similar but becomes bigger in size also it starts becoming lighter and greener in color these larva on survive only on lemon and orange plants or we can say citrus plants afterwards its transformation become becomes quite fast in nearly one day the common mormon transforms and becomes green in color and its shape also changes After that in a couple of days it becomes longer and develops a brown stripe near its neck portion and on its sides It also develops a brown stripe near its head After a couple of days it then joins its two ends to the stem and the petiole of a leaf by a thin strand and starts spinning the pupa a common mormon larva is now on the way to become a butterfly the pupa at first is green in color a light green color and its underpart is a light skin color In the next stage the pupa becomes quite green in color and becomes nearly indistinguishable from the plant's leaves but after some observation we will be able to locate the pupa quite easily actually the same problem had occurred with me but after some observation i was able to locate the pupa quite easily it camouflages quite well in this stage after a few days the pupa will get bigger and bigger and finally in a couple of more days a butterfly butterfly will crack the pupa and slowly and steadily emerge from it the newly emerged butterfly will sit on the plant for few hours drying its wings and drinking the juice of its own pupa and then it will fly away the adult butterfly is very beautiful with bright white and orange spots on its wings after that the pupa will get a dry look and will steadily dry up i now want to tell you something just as a fact you will want to know a common mormon larva eats a lot of leaves so be ready to lose some leaves of your plant if you see a larva of this butterfly on your plant so this was the whole life of a common mormon starting from egg steadily going to the larva pupa and through the stage in which it slowly transforms into a butterfly a beautiful one with black wings 
We just had a small lemon plant at our home and one day we saw a small larva on it. We didn't know what it was at first but later we came to know that it was actually the larva of this beautiful butterfly. And because of this we were actually able to provide you this information on this butterfly. And the fact is that that the butterfly the adult one came out of the pupa just a day before just a day after the new year. and it just felt like a gift sent to us a big surprise for us so now let's have a quick review on the life of a common momman So this was the whole life cycle of a common momman butterfly and I hope that you all liked our video. If yes, do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.